Previously, I showed you a bunch of ways on how to detect 433 MHz sensors. For instance, you can detect when the fan was switched on or off. You can detect if the door was open or closed. There's also the vibration sensors as seen here. These sensors are dirt cheap and they seem to work extremely well. This is the 433 MHz RF bridge. It converts that to MQTT. Sadly, you cannot buy this bridge anymore. Or maybe you can import it from China. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Today, I'm going to show you how to use this dongle that detects 433 MHz signal. It can do a lot more than detecting sensors, and you'll see later on. Here is an up-close picture of that RTL SDR USB dongle. Phew, that's a long one, isn't it? It's the size of a regular USB flash drive. It also comes with this extremely sensitive antenna that you can extend further, up to like maybe two feet. There is a small remote that is included, and I guess you can use that to control your fans, your lights, or whatever via Home Assistant. Once you have the dongle, go ahead and plug it into your Home Assistant server. Here is my Home Assistant server, by the way. It is just a regular Chrome box that we converted earlier, as seen in another video. Once it's plugged in, go ahead and jump onto the software side. Let's go into Settings, Add-ons, Add-on Store, and search for RTL. We're going to install the next version. Here you can see I have it installed already. Once it's done installing, go ahead and click on Start. Check the box, Watchdog. That way, if it crashes, it will automatically restart again. Next, install the Auto Discovery. I already installed that as well. Before you click Start though, click on Configuration. Be sure to fill out this top section right here. Go ahead and enter in the MQTT host, which is most likely your Home Assistant IP address. For mine, that's 192.168.1.229. Your MQTT user and then the password. Once that's done, go ahead and click on Save. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to install the MQTT server, but I'll have a link down below for you to get started. All right, now that you have the add-ons ready and running, go ahead and jump to your MQTT. So let's go to Settings, Integrations, go to MQTT, click on Devices. On the top, I'm going to filter it, RTL underscore 433. Here you can see that it's already sniffing all of my neighbor's 433 MHz devices. You can see that he has Simply Safe, and Simply Safe uses 433 MHz channels, by the way. That's why it's highly recommended that you don't advertise people that you're using Simply Safe, otherwise, they'll jam that signal. If you're actually using Simply Safe, the best way is to advertise that you're using ADT, for instance, or Vivint, or any other company that's not using 433 MHz. If you want, you can go ahead and click on one of the devices. But sadly, it doesn't really show anything that's valuable to us. That's because the auto discovery isn't really helpful, at least for most of the devices. That's why we need to go into the MQTT and sniff out all of the information that we need. To do that, go ahead and install MQTT Explorer. For connections, go ahead and give it a name. Give it the host, which is most likely the same as your Home Assistant server. You've seen this before. It's the same 192.168.1.229. The MQTT name and of course the password. Click on connect. This software basically sniffs out all of the MQTT services that's going on in your local network. Here you can see that my 3D printer is using Octoprint and it's also spitting out MQTT messages. For today, we're only interested in this USB dongle because we only want to sniff out the 433 MHz sensors. So go ahead and click on it and then expand the next version. You can see that I previously installed the older version, but today we're playing with the next version. Here are all of the devices that you saw earlier. You can see it is simply safe. There's a bunch of thermostats. I guess the neighbor next door is really into um, weather stations, I guess. Some cars give out tires information as well, and it gives out via 433 MHz. First, let's play around with this 433 MHz fob. This is for the wireless relay that's going into a Hyundai. Go ahead and press the button on the remote. Every time you see a flash, that means something is being activated, something changes. So go ahead and expand that field. Once you expand it even further, you can see that this wireless fob is encrypted. Look at this, this is known as rolling codes. 
Every time I click on the fob, the code changes. Therefore, it's impossible to copy this signal to be transmitted again. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but in this tutorial, I'm not going to cover it because even I don't know. But we can certainly have Home Assistant sniff out the ID because the ID is still constant. See, every time I press, the code changes, but the ID stays constant. With that knowledge, we can have Home Assistant do something when the ID flashes. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's take a look at a door sensor. Previously, you saw this sensor installed in the car. That way, every time the car door is open, I will get an alert in the house. On the right-hand side is the topic. This you'll need, as well as looking at the state. Every time something changes, this value will change as well. Or every time this MQT message is flashed onto the network, you can click on the copy icon to copy all of this topic right here. That way, you don't have to type it out individually. In the Home Assistant side, this is what it looks like. The name, you can give it whatever you want. Unique ID, again, anything that you want, but it has to be unique and does not exist in Home Assistant anywhere. The state topic is the one that we copied earlier. We only care about the state, so that's why it's highlighted there. The payload on is when it's open, meaning that this binary sensor will change to on when it's open or off when it is closed. The value template will be this right here. If you hit the copy icon and then paste it back, this is what it looks like. And here you can see I pasted it in already. Next up, we're going to look at a vibration sensor. This vibration sensor does not have an on or off. Going into MQTT, you can see that this is the topic right here. I'm just going to copy it in and paste it in at Home Assistant. Every time there's a vibration on, then this code flashes. There's no changes when it's in the off position. So again, name, unique ID, give it whatever you want. The state topic will be that which you copy. The code is right here. Every time it's turned to on position, then it will spit out this code, which we saw in MQTT. And off will be whatever we set it as. And this off delay is 10 seconds. Meaning, once it's turned on, Home Assistant will automatically flip it to the off position after 10 seconds. You can change this value if you want to anything else, like 1 or even 2 seconds. Knowing what we know about the vibration sensor, we can apply that method to the remote that we saw earlier. Whenever the button is pressed on the fob, it will send a message onto the MQTT network. We can sniff when the button is pressed. And we don't care about the changing code because we can still see the unique ID that's flashing. So we can detect, but we cannot control the remote, meaning that we cannot transmit the 433 megahertz signal out to control the car. That's a shame, but that's all right. Hopefully you found this video helpful on how to sniff out all of the 433 megahertz signals in your house or in your neighborhood. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.